This screencast covers adding auto-completion for specific XML document types in Komodo. By default, Komodo has some basic code intelligence for XML files. When you type an opening angle bracket for a new element, autocomplete will show a list of possible elements based on all the elements that it's seen previously in the current document. If you type uh, a slash then, uh, you get a suggestion for an appropriate closing element. This is helpful, but it's not ideal because it allows you to insert the wrong element because Komodo has no information about which elements are valid where. It's also difficult to find the right element when the autocomplete list gets too long. Also, it doesn't show any elements that are not already in the document. And it will happily add incorrect elements to the autocomplete list, just assuming that you know what you're doing. Komodo does have much better and much more specific uh, code intelligence for certain kinds of XML document types like XHTML, XSLT, Atom, RDF, DocBook, and several others, but we've also made it very easy to add additional XML dialects. If the document type you work with has a RelaxNG schema or a DTD that you can use, you can add code intelligence support for it. I'll demonstrate this using DITA, this file that I was working on before, this is a framework used a lot by people in the technical writing community. Komodo doesn't have native data auto-completion as we can see. To enable this, we need an XML catalog that references one or more DTDs or RelaxNG schemas. The Komodo documentation has some information on creating your own XML catalog files, but luckily the data open toolkit comes with its own catalog file, which maps these public IDs to DTD files. Setting this up is done in Komodo's preferences. Edit preferences under languages, XML catalogs. There's a button for add. You browse to the place where you've got your catalog file. There it is. Add it. And now we should have dialect specific autocompletion for DITA. And indeed we do. Uh, it shows the step element because the step element is the only valid one in this context. Uh, this helps you write valid XML the first time through. And it's also very helpful if you're new to a particular XML dialect and you need a little help and some suggestions. Here we've got uh, a list of elements even though we don't have any uh, others in the file. We also get attribute completion. And that's all there is to adding support for a different XML document type. In the next screencast, I'll show you how to validate XML documents uh, in Komodo, tying in an external program called XMLint uh, with a run command or with a macro. Thanks for watching.